the equation of the straight line joining the two given points can be written as y minus a sin alpha divided by x minus a cos alpha is equal to the gradient of the line which is equal to a times sin beta minus a times sin alpha divided by a times cos beta minus a times cos alpha. On the right hand side a cancels across the numerator and the denominator and cross multiplying we get cos beta minus cos alpha times y minus a sin alpha times in brackets cos beta minus cos alpha is equal to sin beta minus sin alpha times x minus a cos alpha times in brackets sin beta minus sin alpha. This can be rearranged as cos beta minus cos alpha times y minus in brackets sin beta minus sin alpha times x is equal to a times in brackets sin alpha times in brackets cos beta minus cos alpha minus cos alpha times in brackets sin beta minus sin alpha. On the right hand side sin alpha times cos alpha cancels and therefore the right hand side simplifies to a times in brackets sin alpha cos beta minus cos alpha sin beta which is equal to a times sin of alpha minus beta. Let's call this equation 1. Now the perpendicular distance from the origin on the line 1 derived above is equal to the absolute value of cos beta minus cos alpha times y minus sin beta minus sin alpha times x minus a times sin of alpha minus beta where x is equal to 0 and y is equal to 0 divided by the square root of the sum of the squares of the coefficients of x and y in the equation of line 1 that is the square root of cos beta minus cos alpha whole square plus sin beta minus sin alpha whole square. This is equal to the absolute value of minus a times sin of alpha minus beta divided by the square root of cos square beta plus cos square alpha minus 2 cos beta times cos alpha plus sin square alpha plus sin square beta minus 2 times sin alpha times sin beta. This is equal to the absolute value of minus a times sin of alpha minus beta divided by the square root of sin square alpha plus cos square alpha plus sin square beta plus cos square beta minus 2 times in brackets cos alpha cos beta plus sin alpha sin beta. Now note that the absolute value of minus 1 is equal to 1 sin square alpha sin square alpha plus cos square alpha is equal to 1 and sin square beta plus cos square beta is equal to 1. Therefore this expression simplifies to the absolute value of a times sin of alpha minus beta divided by the square root of 2 minus 2 times cos alpha cos beta plus sin alpha sin beta. Now in the denominator cos alpha cos beta plus sin alpha sin beta is equal to cos of alpha minus beta and therefore this expression can be written as 2a 
times sine of alpha minus beta upon 2 times cos of alpha minus beta upon 2 in the numerator divided by root of 2 times 1 minus cos of alpha minus beta. This is equal to the absolute value of root 2 times a times sine of alpha minus beta upon 2 times cos of alpha minus beta upon 2 divided by root of 2 times sine square alpha minus beta upon 2. Now root 2 times sine of alpha minus beta upon 2 cancel across the numerator and the denominator and therefore the value of this expression is equal to the absolute value of a times cos of alpha minus beta upon 2 which is the required answer.